In this video, we're going to show you this really cool off-grid rocket stove water heater that also acts as a cooktop. We really love this idea because we often see off-grid heating solutions for heating water and uh, they often involve propane, which is fine, but it's nice to have such a simple alternative like this. We're here at a place called La Nature à l'état pur in Harrington, Quebec, Canada. And we're just hanging out with Sébastien and Isabelle. They're a really creative couple. They've built a fantastic super adobe home and they've also experimented a lot with rocket stoves. And since they're pretty much off the grid, they wanted to try and create a rocket stove that could heat water. So here we have a basic rocket stove with three openings. A rocket stove is a really simple design. There's a small hole at the bottom and the air naturally just gets sucked in through the bottom hole and it goes through the top here. You feed your wood through this middle uh, hole here and then you start your fire up at the bottom. And what's amazing about the rocket stove is that it's extremely efficient and it can create a huge amount of heat from just a really small amount of wood. So keep in mind that this is a prototype that's the first one they've tried so this does look a little bit complicated but it's actually pretty simple. Basically that is their water source. They fill up their blue tank which is the water that they want to heat up and right now it's just cold water in here. So there's basically two pipes attached to this barrel. At the bottom here there's the cold water that runs all the way through that pipe and then it's hooked up to a copper pipe and on the inside of the rocket stove they built it so it goes up in a spiral around the chimney here. So the cold water comes in through the bottom here it gets heated through the pipe by the fire and then the hot water comes back up, the heated water comes back up through this top pipe here and goes back into the container. So the cold water keeps naturally sinking to the bottom and going through the pipes and back up without any pump or any electricity or anything. The heat of the fire basically creates a thermal siphon that will only happen if the water source is higher than the rocket stove. So just to give you an idea, to heat about half this barrel, it would take about two hours and you would be able to take approximately 10 showers with that. Keep in mind that they didn't insulate this barrel yet and if it was insulated it could keep heat for a little bit longer. What's nice is that even when the fire is out, uh, the thermal mass here is going to stay warm for a little while and it's going to keep heating up the water. And what's cool is that with the rocket stove and with this uh, system, you kind of get a two for one. 